What's going on YouTube? This is Old My Device Vids, and I have some information for you guys regarding the next jailbreak. So, Apple did release iOS 8.3 to the public yesterday on April 8th, 2015, and that does bring some good things for jailbreakers and bad things as well. So, a lot of people were not expecting this uh, release iOS 8.3 to come out so soon. Personally, I was expecting it to come out towards the end of April or the beginning of May, but we got it early again, April 8th, 2015. And again, some of the good things this involves for jailbreakers is now that iOS 8.3 is out, we could be seeing a jailbreak release by the Taiji team, Pengu team, or anyone else. You know, there's a bit, little bit of a better chance that they would release a jailbreak for 8.3 rather than the old 8.2. And I have explained that in previous videos. Basically, whenever a jailbreak is released, the exploits that that jailbreak uses in order to actually jailbreak the device are disclosed to the public and then when that happens Apple will go and look at the exploits and then they'll probably just patch them in the next version. So now that iOS 8.3 is out, you know, a fresh iOS version that was just released soon, it's smarter to release a jailbreak for that version so it lives longer so it doesn't get patched so soon. So again, it's more likely that we're going to be seeing an iOS 8.3 jailbreak, you know, sooner now. So, you know, before it was iOS 8.2, now we're waiting for an iOS 8.3 jailbreak. So that's the good news. And the bad news is um, one of the exploits that the Taiji team used for their iOS 8.1.2 and earlier jailbreak tool was patched. So yet another one was patched. Believe it or not, there were still components of the jailbreak that were still included in 8.2 and 8.1.3. But now in iOS 8.3, you know, another exploit that was used in the 8.1.2 jailbreak was patched. And that's bad because the Taiji team or some other team, maybe Pengu, could have been planning on using that exploit in the next jailbreak. However, we don't know anything. We haven't gotten any updates of that sort. So who knows? You know, maybe somebody doesn't have a jailbreak. Maybe nobody has one right now. Maybe somebody did and it did rely on that. And then it'll take a little longer for them to find new exploits. Or who knows? Maybe someone has a jailbreak that relies not at all on that. And maybe they're doing fine. And, you know, maybe they're going to be, re be releasing the jailbreak soon. We just don't know. And for some more good news, something was tweeted out on a Twitter account that I am 99% sure is one of the members of the Pengu team that was pretty interesting regarding the jailbreak. So something good was tweeted out. Now, if you want to know more about this account and why I'm 99% sure that it is real, be sure to watch my last update video for the jailbreak situation. I'll have that linked in the description down below. Just so you know what's going on, make sure you watch that first. And again, you'll, you'll learn where I found this account and why I think it's legitimate. Now, with that all being said, let's get right into it. All right, so I just want to quickly let you know what iOS 8.3 actually contains as far as new features are concerned. I talked to you about what it means for the jailbreak, but as far as new features, what does it mean? So it will include the change log in the description down below, but as you can see, it contains tons of things. You know, it's just an overall big update as far as stability is concerned, and it also contains a couple uh, new features. For example, there are now new emojis with various skin tones. And it's just supposed to make your experience a lot better as far as opening applications, closing applications, just the overall experience and performance of the device as far as speed is concerned uh, will be much better after updating to iOS 8.3. And it's actually good for jailbreakers as well because um, it's good that, for example, if a jailbreak was released for iOS 8.3, uh, that would be better than if it was for iOS 8.2 or 8.3. Uh, 1.3 because if the iOS version is stable that means that the jailbreakers get to update to iOS 8.3 still be able to jailbreak and again still be able to enjoy all these good performance fixes etc it's just always good to be on the most stable iOS version with you know the newest features as well and just overall the good performance of the device and as far as that tweet that I was telling you about earlier uh, the bad thing was the developer actually deleted the tweet, but this is what it said. It said, I like the outcome. This was right after iOS 8.3 was released. Now, as you can see, that's fairly promising. You know, he's basically saying, I like the outcome of this. I like that iOS 8.3 was released. You know, who knows? Maybe the Pengu team was planning to release a jailbreak. However, what makes me a little bit, you know, worried or not as excited about that is because the tweet was deleted. Here's the account live right now, as you can see inside of Twitter, actually. As you can see, the latest tweet was from a while ago. You know, he deleted all these, or he deleted that tweet. I'm not sure why he did that. Um, I don't know, maybe the Pengu team discovered that, uh, you know, some of the exploits, or maybe that one exploit that they were depending on was closed at 8.3, and that's why this tweet was deleted. Or maybe he just didn't want to excite people, and maybe it's still going to, you know, mean something exciting for jailbreakers. Who knows? Again, this is just a screenshot that I got when the tweet was still active. 
But, you know, it's unfortunate that that tweet was deleted, but who knows? It still could carry some meaning. You know, the fact that he even said this at one point in time is a good thing. You know, that they're planning to release a jailbreak for 8.3. Maybe they have one. Maybe they just hit a little snag and they have to, you know, find some new exploits, etc. Now, as far as Taiji is concerned, the Taiji team, they haven't said anything on Twitter, Webio, their website. They've been completely silent since the release of iOS 8.3. So I don't know what's going on with them. Um, you know, as far as the Pengu team, the same thing goes. However, that one account, which again, I do think is a official Pengu account, has tweeted, but then the person deleted their tweets. You know, I'm not sure why that is, but, you know, still, you could still get a little bit of excited because of this, you know, tweet. Even though he deleted it again, it's still good that he's even saying anything like this. And that actually went by pretty quick, but I think I have you guys updated with all the latest news right now. That's what we know so far right now. Of course, again, if anything changes, I'll be sure to let you guys know. And I hope you're not more informed regarding the jailbreak situation for iOS 8.3. If you find this video helpful, make sure to give it a like and subscribe to this channel. Also, be sure to follow the channel on Twitter, like its Facebook page, and add it to one of your circles on Google+. And also, be sure to follow my personal Twitter account, and all that is linked down below in the description. And again, that's all for this video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys later.